Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for September 19th through the 25th, 2021. I hope everyone's doing well. Just a gentle reminder that this is a general reading, not a private reading. Therefore, it may not resonate with everyone. If you feel that it is not resonating with you, just check your other signs and placements. See if those readings may resonate better. And also keep in mind that energies can reverse or flip-flop. That's not unusual in a general reading. As always, take only what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. All right, Spirit, can I have the energy of Taurus? Energy of Taurus. All right, so Taurus, we start out with the King of Wands in the reverse, the Queen of Swords in the reverse, and coming out together, we have the Knight of Swords reversed, as well as Justice in reverse. Wow, Taurus, okay. All right, so it looks as if um, there's a situation here that you feel as if, you know, you have not been treated properly. Um, I'm feeling as if you feel that someone didn't tell you the truth, that they have been lying to you, um, maybe maybe just holding back their their words, not maybe not speaking to you, um, depending upon your situation. But in any event, it, there's a sense here that you are not being treated properly, and I feel like you're angry about it. You're you're not happy about it at all. Um, there's a sense of, you know, inaction as well. Um, so we have on the board, um, you may be dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. We also have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But, you know, and Libra is very strong, by the way. But I, I just feel like there's a situation where you feel like somebody's either withholding information, perhaps they're... they're doing so in order not to, you know, argue, or perhaps you feel that they're lying. Either way, you're unbalanced about this. There's a sense of being done wrong, a sense of being wronged in this situation, and I can see you're angry. Or you may feel you're dealing with someone who's very angry. Let's see their, let's see who you're dealing with. All right, so the person you're dealing with, we have the Nine of Cups reversed. We have the Page of Swords. And coming out together, we have the Six of Cups in reverse and Judgment in reverse. So the person you're dealing with, um, I do see, again, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like this person, um, there's a sense here of them speaking and they may speak broadly. They feel that it's truthful, um, but it might be a little sharp cutting. It might be a, a bit um, a bit harsh and immature. This person is releasing something from their past. Um, it could be the connection. It could be something within their past. But whatever it is, they want nothing more to do with it, whatever they're, they're releasing. Um, there's a sense here that this person is feeling like um, maybe they got what they wanted, but it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. Or that they're just not receiving, you know, they're not able to get what they want here. So I do see this person communicating, but in a more immature manner. Um, let me see the energy of the connection. Oh, wow. Hold on, Taurus. I have to grab that card. It just flew all the way across the room. Oh, and I can see why. Ten of Swords. Yeah, so there's been some kind of a disappointment here between the two of you. There's a sense of betrayal. A sense of being stabbed in the back, um, a lack of loyalty, but I do feel like whatever it is, is it's beginning to fade. It's beginning to to end. You, 
you're almost at the end of a cycle. Um, tens are, are the end of the cycle, and this is in reverse. So I feel like you're very close to whatever this cycle is ending. What is directly affecting this connection? Eight of Swords reverse. So somebody is freeing themselves. Um, what is the outcome at the end of the week? Five of Swords reverse. Yeah, so somebody's freeing themselves um, from something. There's a sense of um, letting go. And I, I also see that the conflict, because this conflict was very ego-based, and it was a very destructive conflict. No good came from this. Um, that conflict is ending. So I see, I see the conflict ending. I see the ego-based behavior ending um, by the end of the week. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups speaks to emotional fulfillment. So the underlying energy here is somebody is trying to find emotional fulfillment. It doesn't look to me like either party right now have that, although you may have in the past. Let me see, um, why, is the, why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands in reverse for Taurus? Three of Cups and Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so you're not taking action on this. I feel like um, I feel like there might have been some third party involvement here, um, and you may feel as if uh, you've been abandoned in this situation. There is also a sense um, for those of you that there's no part, no third party here. I do see that there might be a desire to bring the connection back together after, you know, some kind of a breakup, whatever this betrayal is. Um, however, I don't see you acting on that. There might be a desire for it, but I don't see you actively acting on it. Um, why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? Right, we have the Seven of Wands and the Three of Coins Reverse. Yeah, I, I feel like you're angry here, Taurus. You're angry. You, you're a little bit in fight mode here. I feel like you're standing your ground. You're, you're a bit defensive. And it's because of, you know, you feel as if somebody here destroyed the foundation of this connection. And I feel like you're you're pissed off about it, um, feeling as if you were treated wrong. You've been you've been abandoned here. Let's look at the bottom energy again. I'm seeing third party um, involvement, so somebody may have had you know brought in a third party in the situation. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. And the Eight of Cups reversed. Yeah, I, it's like things just took a downward spiral. And I feel like, um, Taurus, that you haven't completely walked away from the situation. But I don't see you taking action. It's very clear you're, you don't want to take action on this. You may not even be, um, you know, speaking your mind. You may be trying to avoid the confrontation with this person, but that is not in your favor. So if you're holding back because you're trying to avoid confrontation, that's not going to work in your favor. It's going to, it's, it's only going to cause this problem to become worse. Um, for some of you, I do feel like, um, you're hoping that if there is a third party, you're hoping that third party ends. You feel as if you've been lied to and treated badly here. I can see that but there's a hope that the third party will end and that things will turn around. And you're still holding on to it. Even though you feel wrong, you're still holding on to the connection. Um, 
Let's look at the person that you're involved with. Why is the Nine of Cups here in reverse? We have the Three of Wands and the Tower. Yeah, this person's waiting for something to happen. They're waiting because they feel like the other shoe is going to drop. And they're waiting for that to happen. Why is the Page of Swords here? I mean, if, if they don't want that to happen, but they there's like a sense of impending dread here. Like um, waiting for the other shoe to drop is what I, I'm hearing. There's that Ten of Wands. Yep. Ten of Wands and Nine of Wands reversed. So I feel like there were some sharp words said. I feel like it was the person you're connected with here, Taurus. Um, and I feel like they either they know they betrayed you or they are feeling betrayed somehow. But I, I, there is a sense of this, whatever this is, ending. And they've kind of given up hope here. That's, that's where these sharp words are coming from. But it's like they're waiting for the other shoe to drop. They're waiting for something to happen that's just going to upset everything. Um, let's get three for the bottom. Ooh. The devil. Temperance. And the ace of swords. Yeah, there's, there's something here that's a little bit toxic. Um, and I feel like this person knows it. They're trying to balance out their emotions. They're being very patient here. And what are they being patient about? Well, there's some kind of communication that's going to come forward. This person has this sense of having given up on something. They may feel that the connection is toxic. And so they're trying to release that, but they're being very patient about coming forward with that truth because they know it's going to cause this tower moment. So they're waiting. There's a sense of waiting. I think this person knows that they're going to be bringing in a tower moment and they know that it's going to feel like a betrayal. Um, there's already been some discussion here that has taken place and... I, there's something here that they're holding on to. They're waiting. I'm surprised I don't see, you know, like secrets being held. Because it feels like a secret being held. Let's look at the connection. Why is the Ten of Swords in reverse? Knight of Wands reverse. And the Lovers. Okay. Yeah. For a lot of you guys, your person had a choice between two people. And I feel like they're waiting. They're waiting, very patiently waiting to tell you the truth about something here, Taurus. And either they feel this connection is toxic or there's something toxic here. Capricorn energy. Some of you may just be dealing with a Capricorn, but... I, I feel like they're waiting because it's going to bring in a tower moment. And they know it. They know this. Um, and I feel like you you may be in this position where you want justice in the situation because you feel like you've been done wrong. But at the same time, you're, you're angry. You're pissed off here. And what you're pissed off about, Taurus... Is whatever this conversation is, whatever this person said here about, you know, giving up on this situation, um, they may have walked away, but not, not entirely walked away. I feel like it was something small. It was something small that was said that made you feel very wronged. Um, let's look at why is the Eight of Swords in reverse? I feel like their words were cutting and immature. King of Swords reversed. More air sign energy. And the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so again, I'm seeing this angry energy. Um, you may feel that you're dealing with somebody that's angry. I feel like you're angry. Um, 
both of you are in reverse though. So what that tells me is that you're both kind of out of your character because of this situation. And there is a, an air here that this person is holding on to this connection and it's related to money. And, and I feel like you know this, Taurus, and you're not happy about it. You're upset. You're, you're angry, but you feel like they're angry as well. You feel like you're dealing with an angry person. And, and there's something about this person or you freeing yourself. You may be freeing yourself from it, but I'm seeing you haven't completely walked away from the situation. There's still a hope that this is going to turn in your favor. Let's look at the... Um, Get three for the bottom. And this person is really guarding themselves. I feel like they're they're hoarding money for some of you. They're being very careful with their money. Okay, so we have the Hierophant in reverse. Sign of Taurus, by the way. Queen of Cups in reverse. You might be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. And we also have the Knight of Swords reversed. So, I don't feel like this person is speaking their truth. They're avoiding conflict. You're avoiding conflict. They're avoiding conflict. Um, neither of you really speaking. I feel like it's kind of taking you out of your character. Both parties holding back their emotions um, in order to, to avoid conflict. There's a lot of avoidance that's taking place here. So neither party really, um, really offering emotion in the situation. I feel like the person you're dealing with here, Taurus, is not communicating. They're kind of holding that back. The person you're dealing with, Taurus, I feel like they... They're waiting to bring in a tower moment of some sort, and it's going to come about by some kind of a truth that is spoken, some kind of clarity that is spoken. And for you, I, I really feel like, you know, you are considering ending this connection. You haven't fully walked away here, but I feel like um, you are considering ending it. You don't feel committed to this person at this point. You don't feel emotional towards this person. But something is keeping you still tied in here. You're, there's a hope here that things are going to turn around. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups reversed, which tells me that you are very clear, Taurus, about what it is that will make you emotionally happy. That's what you're searching for. That's what you're looking for here. So you have to ask yourself, is holding on to this connection going to make you emotionally happy? Um, because I'm not seeing that here. I'm seeing, you know, a lot of avoidance. And the person you're connecting with, there, there's been some sharp words that were very cutting for you. Betrayal is here, you know, but there's something this person is waiting to bring in. So... It, it is gonna, it's going to upset everything. All right, let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to pull some tea leaf cards for both sides as well as for the connection itself. And let's see what comes up. All right, so for you, Taurus, we have Vase. You have a secret admirer. So there might be somebody that is watching you that you don't even know about. Somebody is watching you go through all of this and they're admiring you and you don't even know. For the person you are dealing with, we have gavel, involvement with the law. So this person may be involved somehow with some something that has to do with courts, um, legal issues. They're involved somehow with something legal. And that's that may be affecting this situation as well. And for the connection itself, we have ooh, November. November. So we're not far from that. Something is going to occur here. That might be when this tower moment comes in. But there will be changes in this in November. Interesting. 
because we are, what, a couple of weeks away from November? All right, I hope this has been helpful for you, Taurus. If you would, like and share the video. Be sure to um, drop me a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until I see you in next week's reading, namaste.